Hey, family. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am excited to deliver this word. It is a rhema word that the Lord dropped on my spirit over the weekend, and then he confirmed it today on the life coaching side. So I just want to go ahead and release it because I know that he is speaking loudly in this hour about the spiritual depression that many of us are going through in the body of Christ as we come into the new thing that God is doing in our life, as we become the new thing that God is doing in our life, which is our identity in Christ, as we adjust to the new thing that he's doing, to the purpose that he's calling us into, a lot of us are finding ourselves in this uh, place where we don't know what to do or which way to turn. And then some of us even thinking about going back to the past or going back to what's easy. And this is a narrow walk. This is a narrow path. And what the Lord said to me over the weekend, he said, I desire more for you. And this confirms that he does not want us going back. This confirms also what he had me speaking a few days ago from 1 Peter 5, verse 10, that says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. And so this is the little while of suffering that you're going through, the turmoil that you're feeling on the inside, the loneliness that you're feeling on the inside, um, the lack of relationships at this time that you're experiencing. God is going to restore all of that to you. He's going to restore everything that you left behind, everything that you feel that you lost, Everything that you even feel like you're not doing, you have to understand that you're moving things in the spirit. You're moving things in the spirit. And so God is going to confirm you. He's going to strengthen you and establish you. So I want to go ahead and release what the Lord spoke to me. Thus says the Lord, there is nothing I won't do for you. Just believe me for it. My storehouse is full and will never run out or run dry. Set the tone of your life according to my plan and purpose. This is the only way to overflow. See, I'm already doing a new thing. There is a glory coming that you won't be able to contain. So I want to go back to set the tone of your life according to my plan and purpose, as the Lord said. And what he's speaking of is the mood or the manner of which something will be conducted. And so in your mindset, this is what God is renewing. He's renewing your mind so that you can start conducting your life in the manner and setting the tone of your life according to his plan and purpose. So this is the struggle. This is the fight. This is the depression because you are struggling against your spirit and your flesh. The fight is against the old you and the new you. And so this puts you in that place of, I don't know what to do, or I'm not doing enough, or feeling like there's nobody there for you or with you. So God is trying to get you to understand his presence in this season. This is why he stripped you of all things and has you building with him. This is why he stated in his rhema word, there is a glory coming that you won't be able to contain. That glory is his presence, and he's going to fill you up so much with his presence as you stay in it that you won't be able to contain it, and then it will give you the strength to go out and do what it is that he's calling you to do. It will take you out of this spiritual depression, if we can call it that, so that you can move forward, not concentrating on what you don't have, but what you do have, which is the Lord. And when you have him, you have everything. This is just as Moses said in Exodus 33, 15. If your presence does not go with us, don't send us up from here. And so a lot of you are stuck at go because you're not filled with the presence of the Lord. So this is why you cannot step out. But just as God told Moses, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. So it is with you. That is your portion. As you trust the Lord and what he has called you to do, he's going to be with you and he's going to give you rest as you move forward in what he's calling you to do in the area of your life and your purpose. So I'm here to tell you to stay in the presence of the Lord and you will see the difference. You will see yourself come out of this slump that you're in and continue to move forward in the things of God. And so I want to leave you guys with Isaiah 60 verse 1 that says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory, or the presence, and brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. So as he rises upon you, that will rise you up. It will raise you up to be glorious and victorious in the mighty name of Jesus.
I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. I'm excited for everything that he is doing in the body of Christ and in each and every one of your lives individually. Share this word with someone you feel that it will bless. Also play it back to get it in your spirit. I want to thank all of you all for your support, your prayers, and your generosity. May the Lord continue to bless you all 100-fold in all areas of your life. I'll talk to you soon.